Hello everybody, it's Several Tovo 4 for another first impressions video. Well, technically it's impressions because I tried the demo, but I have saved data from the demo version. I can carry it over to the full game. Yay, I can't change my language. Sure. So this is going to be impressions because I don't think that it's going to start at the very beginning. We'll see. Um, but I played the demo, and the demo's good. But this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. We'll see if it starts over. Doo, 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 doo. It might just have, like, items or something. We'll see. But yeah, this game was announced a couple months ago, actually. Not too long ago. And I'm very excited. I loved, loved, loved Blue Rescue Team. And, uh, I really like the art style here. I know some people actually don't really like the art style, but I, I really enjoy, like, the... just the way that everything looks. Um, we're gonna continue from where we are. I am a Mudkip, because Mudkip is my favorite. I'm on Team Smashers, and, uh, it's pretty much picking up after the, like, Caterpie rescue mission. Maybe, maybe the Magnemite one also? Uh, if you're trying to avoid spoilers for whatever reason, spoilers. Uh, but yeah, this game is just really fun. Uh, it's actually probably better for first impressions if I start in the middle over here, so that you don't have all the exposition and stuff, but like, the controls are pretty basic of the same thing. The left stick is walk around, the right stick doesn't really do anything. L and R and ZLZR and all those other things pretty much only have uh, uses in the dungeons. Uh, X opens up your menu, you have your toolbox, which is all your items. Uh, as you get better at your rescue missions, I believe you get a bigger bag, so that's cool. Um, status is... well, status uh, shows you your moves and stuff. One thing I don't like that they seem to have just taken out altogether for the Mystery Dungeon game, starting with the last one. Like, in Gates to Infinity, they made, like, the non-attack attack like it, originally you just press a and you do a regular attack right you wouldn't be one of your your four uh so for the first two games uh in the series you know, the the ex uh, re res the mystery dungeon uh rescue team and the uh explorers games a would just be a regular attack and it would do okay damage uh starting with gates to infinity it did like three damage. It was nothing. And then I don't think it was even in Super Mystery Dungeon. I don't remember honestly. But here that seems to also be the case that the A the A attack is just uh, whatever your standard shortcut is. Um, we have our accepted jobs because we are a rescue team. Uh, let's go to Thunder Wave Cave, I guess, and um, a whole lot of other things. Uh, so I'm not really going to be showing off how the game plays here, but got Whiskash. I mean, look at this. This is like a beautiful art style. And I know, again, like I did not like the transition from the Explorers games to Gates to Infinity. At all. Oh yeah, right, yeah we have a shortcut. I forgot about that. It's our house. Um, I didn't like the transition at all in terms of graphics. Uh, I loved the top-down style. I loved the little, like, sprites. You can go to Mount Steel to try to Rescue, uh, I think Diglett, I don't remember, uh, but we got three jobs at Thunder Wave Cave, so I'm gonna go there right now. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the transition from sprites to, like, pixel sprites to 3D models, and that's still kind of the case, like, I'm not gonna lie, that's still kind of the case, but at the very least, um, I like this better than what they have been doing. First of all, they have outlines, which is great, but also, I don't know, there's just something nice about, like, a painted pencil art style to me. Uh, a few other changes that I noticed. Uh, enemies show up on the map, and I don't I don't think it was like that in, in the original game. You had to get the x-ray specs, didn't you? Like, to have enemies and items show up in your map? Regardless, uh, that seems to be standard now, which I guess is a nice quality of life thing. Uh, we can find the Trenzy Specs over here. Trico is just doing all the work for me. Uh, wow. Good job, Trico. 
Yes, yeah, so I pressed A there and it did Mud Slap instead of just our standard attack. We got a Blast Seed, Tiny Reviver Seed, which I don't remember if that's new. I think it was just originally just a Reviver Seed. I think the Tiny Reviver Seed just doesn't restore your full health. Toolbox is too full, that's weird. Tiny Specs, yay! Job completed! So we got in the corner, uh, upper corner, we have our health, Trico's health, and our belly. Also the weather conditions. Uh, if your belly goes down, then you you get sad. Oh, you can press start to switch your characters, I forgot about that. Uh, toolbox. We used up all of our gravel rocks, apparently, so let's just eat an apple. Uh, it's very easy to just get, like, way too many items. I was wondering why Trico wasn't using the Graveler Rocks anymore. It turns out it's because he used them all up. Uh, we have to find Puccina. Okay. I kind of wish that they brought the gummies into this game. I, I haven't seen them thus far, and I know that that's... Or I'm pretty sure that that's a, um... Restore your right health, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's a explorer's thing, but I really liked the gummies. Like increasing your IQ and let you, letting you do stuff. I feel like it was also in the original games, but I played a lot of the explorer games and it's very hard to differentiate for me. Like between between the first two gen mystery dungeon games. And though I would not like to like to complete my journey. This is my quest. Then level up. Trico leveled up. Trico is level 11. I don't know how he's so much higher than me. He's a murderer. That's why. No matter the cause, no matter how hopeless. Where's the stairs? Trico, calm down, dude. I guess there's another room right over... Oh, I didn't enter the room enough to see. Good job, Dovi. You've arrived at the floor of Puchianas. There's two Puchianas lost in this dungeon. That's slightly sad, I'm not gonna lie. Find the Puccini you were looking for. All right, you'll only do the regular attack when there's no enemy in front of you, which is nice because it doesn't waste a move by you, but it's still weird. Puccini left the dungeon. I like that it tells you whether or not you have more jobs. Let's get out of here. Bum. But uh, it seems like the story is pretty much intact. Trendy Specs is your reward! Perfect apple! Set the storage. Thank you for rescuing Puccina! Not only did he get his, his specs, he got his friend. And he got his friend too. Ooh, a warp scarf, that's interesting. We did good today. Let's knock it off. Let's knock off and call it a night. Let's knock it off. See you tomorrow. Bye! The next morning. Look at him. He look at him with his little bandana. He's so cute. Ah, he's adorable. I wonder why Trico doesn't sleep in our house. Good morning. We blew it yesterday. Let's go to Mount Seal and save Diglett today for sure. Hey, Pally. Look, he just smacks his head. Uh, check the mail. Getting hungry? Eat something when you're hungry. I like eating when I'm hungry. Your rescue team is defeated. You lose everything. Don't die. <laughs> News of the day. Don't die. So we don't have like friend areas yet. Uh, let's check what jobs we can do. Uh, more Thunderwave caves. So why not? The nice thing is that Zapdos and Diglett are just gonna kind of wait for us. I think it's Zapdos, right? I don't think it's Skarmory. 
Anyway, they're gonna wait for us. I uh, got storage over here. Welcome. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's sort everything, which is nice. Let's put some apples away. We don't need the big apple right now either. Let's put some max ethers away. We're gonna be building up a lot of max ethers. Uh, we do not need this many reviver seeds either. And yeah, the the dojo, which is kind of new uh, in how it works, uh, gives you a lot of experience now. Using it defeats all enemies in the same room in a single shot. I'll hold on to that even though I don't think we'll need it, but you know, it might be good if we run to a monster house. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have a twist band. Prevents all wear stats such as attack or defense from being lowered. Uh, prevents the wear from taking critical hits. Sometimes warps the person and belly empties more slowly. So you know what? Let's uh, let's take this. I'll give the twist band to Trico and I'll wear the stamina band. I feel like some of those were rewards from playing the demo. But it's nice that like I was able to carry over progress. No, I don't want to trash it. What? Do I have to put it on in the dungeon? I guess so. Okay. So let's go back to Thunder Wave Cave again. I know we were just there, and Trico's like, are you kidding me? But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do jobs. That's weird. What does that mean? Does that mean there's just a better chance at treasure? I guess so. We'll go through the whole thing this time. Client Voltorb is with you. Hooray. Uh, let's... No, 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 don't drop it. At least drop in this game doesn't mean drop, drop. Keep pressing start. Thank God for that. Give. Trico. And... Yeah, stamina Band is great for your main character because now you don't, like, ever need apples again. And Reviver Seed, Orenberry, Dragon Breath... Yay! Oh, okay, so that's what that is. Apparently, you just get lots, lots of money, instead of a little bit of money. But the controls in the dungeon are nice, too. Um, since I should probably talk about that. Uh, Elekid is waiting for a... Really? He wants a patch of barrier, okay. Um, so you hold R and you can, like, go diagonally, essentially. Uh, L kind of sets things into auto. You don't have one right now. Oh, let's wait. Uh, let's go over here and see if there's one. Yes, there is. Thank goodness for that. Probably should have should have kept in mind what you needed before uh, <laughs> before coming in. Uh, Voltor wants to be delivered to a different floor. So if you have never played this game before, uh, the Mystery Dungeons are uh, like randomly generated dungeons. Every time you go in it's different, but they have a set amount of floors. Uh, in this game, uh, obviously Pokemon appear there. Uh, you will eventually be able to uh, recruit Pokemon, but not yet at the beginning of the game. Um, but you and your partner are kind of just trying to have to figure out what's going on. Uh, you are a human, and you have no idea why you're a Pokemon, and that's kind of the mystery of the game, too. And, um, yeah, you get to, you get to go explore and find treasures and find, uh, like, rare Pokemon, and it's a very fun game, and the originals, like, I played hundreds of hours of the original game, and, uh, it was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. Also, very hard to recruit some of the Pokémon Mew, but uh, it is what it is. You found the execute you're looking for. These are the executes you're looking for. I'm gonna go to the end of the dungeon this time around, uh, just to try to get a bit more money, since apparently there is a. No. I was trying to select the other option. Oh well, never mind. We're not getting extra money. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's about time for the end of the thing. Thank you for delivering the Petra Berry. This is your reward. PPF drink, cool. I am receiving sent to storage. Thank you for taking me to mine on. Uh, let's see. This version of the game, at least the blue and red rescue teams were uh, up to Gen 3. It was like right before Gen 4 came out, so there was like hints at like Lucario and Weavile. Uh, they weren't actually in the game, but they were like, again, hints to it. It was back when like a Coliseum, Pokemon Coliseum came out, and like, you know, they had like Munchlax and Bonsly. I think they had Bonsly. Maybe Bonsly was in the second, in XD. Uh, but they had. Was Munchlax in XD also? Munchlax was in XD also, wasn't it? Anyway, it's around that time <laughs> um, when, like, Gen 4 wasn't out yet, essentially. Uh, this game, obviously, it takes place now. Um, I don't think- I still think that they have the same roster, but I think they also are including things like Mega Evolution. So, I don't know how exactly that all fits together. But I hope they have remakes of the, uh, of the original- uh, of the original- of, um, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, because that has Primal Dialga, and Primal Dialga is cool. Anyway, um, yeah, just from what I've played, this is like very standard, <laughs> very standard fare for the uh, uh, Mystery Dungeon games, but like, yeah, this is literally just every day you're gonna get, you're gonna get uh, tutorials. Uh, so it's very standard fare for, for Mystery Dungeons, like for the, the game, it's it's pretty simple at first. The story gets very good if you've never played it. Like, I I highly uh, recommend the game, and uh, you know I think that uh, if you enjoy Pokemon, if you enjoy randomly generated dungeon type games, you know mystery dungeon esque games, um, I think you'd really enjoy it. This game kind of just speaks for itself. We're just gonna keep getting these things, aren't we? It didn't say how many points we were getting, which was kind of, kind of, um, concerning. I don't know if I was just doing those jobs for nothing and we have to first get ourselves over to rescuing Diglett, but we'll see. There's what? There's no dungeon over there? I just want to go look at the cliffs, Trico, you fool. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for the first impressions. Um, again, the, the first impressions were a foregone conclusion. I'm just like showing you a little bit of the game, really. Um, if this game strikes your fancy, whether it's the the music, which the music is always good in the Mystery Dungeon games, uh, the music, the graphics, the, the gameplay style, the fact that you can, like, have a Mudkip with a little bandana, or a Trico with a little bandana, you have uh, choices of a whole load of, like, party members. You get a quiz at the beginning of the game that kind of choose your per chooses your Pokémon based on your personality. Um, it's very involved, and, and I really love that, and it kind of reminds me of Dragon Quest 3. Um, Dragon Warrior 3, back in my day. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, I hope you try this game if, like, you like any of those factors, because this is a good game. It is a good game. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.